Hey guys, I'm Josiah. And I'm Judah. Welcome to our hero series where we tell you about an awesome hero in the Bible. The hero that we're going to learn about did something really incredible when he was just a boy. He knew God was really strong and would protect him. Our hero this week is... David. Josiah, why don't you tell us what you know about David? Well, David had eight brothers, and he was the youngest out of all of them. Everyone had a job to do, and David got the stinkiest job of them all. He had to watch the sheep. It was super boring, and nothing exciting ever happened. That's not true. David killed a lion and a bear while protecting his sheep. Oh, that's right. Okay, so one time a lion came and tried to steal a sheep, and David pulled out his bazooka, and he shot a Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I'm pretty sure they didn't have bazookas back then. And second of all, David killed a bear and a lion with his sling. Whoa, that must have been one dangerous swing. No, not a swing, a sling. What's a sling? It's like a slingshot. It was a long piece of leather that would hold a rock in the middle of it, and then you would swing it round and round and let it go, and the rock would fly out and whack! You're dead. And it's only three easy payments of 1995 if you call in the next five minutes. One time, there was a battle between the Philistines and the Israelites. Oh, poor Phil. He's outnumbered for sure. He's gonna lose. What? No, not Phil Osteen. It's the Philistines. The Philistines had this giant who was nine feet, nine inches tall. His name was Goliath. Whoa. That dude is almost as tall as a basketball goal. I bet he could dunk the ball super easy. I'm pretty sure he could. Well, Goliath said to the Israelites that they should send out their best warrior to fight him, and whoever won the fight would win the war. How would they know who won? Well, it was a fight to the death, so if you're still alive, then you won. But if you're dead, then you lost. Ew. No one wanted to fight Goliath because he was so big. For 40 days, Goliath would insult the Israelites and tell them mean things like, Oh, I, I know. He would say mean things like, Yo mama jokes, like, Yo mama is so old, she dated Phil Osteen. What? No, it wasn't yo mama jokes. Oh. One day, David left his sheep to go visit his older brothers who were soldiers in the battle and bring them food. When he got there, he saw Goliath and how afraid everyone was to fight him. David heard that King Saul would give a reward to whoever fought and killed Goliath. You want to know what that reward was? A lifetime supply of chocolates? No. A panda? No. What about a whole bunch of money, gets to marry the king's daughter, and his family doesn't have to pay taxes? Actually, that's correct. How'd you know? Eh, lucky guess. So, David told King Saul that he was going to fight Goliath. David walked down to the little river, not wearing any armor. He grabbed five smooth rocks and took his slingshot and walked to Goliath. Goliath looked at David and started laughing and said, Uh, let me tell the rest of the story. I think I know how it goes. All right. Goliath said, Hey, you a cute little boy. I'm going to cut your head off with my giant sword. And David said, Yeah, right. God's on my side. And David took the slingshot and launched a rock and smacked Goliath right in the center of his head. Goliath fell to the ground. The crowd cheered and started chanting, MVP, MVP. And David took Goliath's sword and yelled, Sorted! And chopped Goliath's head off. The end. Eh, more or less. That day, the Israelites defeated the Philistines because of David's bravery. Wow. David was only a shepherd, but he killed a lion, a bear, and now a giant because he knew that God would protect him and deliver him. David. Now that kid was a hero.